What's going on, killers? Newbury here. Uh, going through Z Saber. Uh, it's been killing a lot of people. And um, I just got some work orders back. I got back from SLC and uh, we're gonna go through this. Uh, and I've got a couple examples to show you guys. So the first one that we're gonna do is gonna be legit, should be clear cut and dry, easy. So I got a vehicle here and I got my work order here. So uh, we're gonna go highlight the row. We're in the equip set. Obviously, we're going to go up here and we're going to click orders. It's going to ding at you because it's loud and obnoxious like that. So, uh, my work order number is 0992. So, you can tell because this one is a different status. It's for a shortage annex. So, we're going to highlight this line. Now, when your shop sends it back to you, it should be in a U status. U is picked up, um, but but not closed out. R is it's ready to be picked up, like the paperwork is, or the vehicle itself, if you're not co-located like we are. So you're gonna highlight this line. We're gonna click work completion. Now we're here. You're gonna put your time in for whatever it's SOP driven. It's just to give you time in the system. Um, if you guys are actually doing the work, then you're actually going to put the time in the way it should be. Me, I, I don't really care because it just needs to show that it's closed out. So we're going to say 0.5, check the final confirmation box. So we started with time confirmation. That's literally, you're going to go in order. So we say 0.5, time confirmation, two, so one, five, and four, enter, and it will populate my name. We highlight the line. Don't know if you have to do that, but you usually have to highlight the line in every other place. So we're gonna do it here. And then hit save. You're gonna get your pop-up, yep. And this is the first good thing. That's a green mark. Everybody's with me. Now we're gonna go to fault clearing second one down so this is a catch-22 sometimes the cause works and it wants something so if you click this button there you go it'll pop up so we're gonna check that box sometimes when you click when you click in here and you click this multiple selector this will not pop up it won't do anything if that's the case don't check this box and drive on um, and then we're gonna do an echo just kidding it doesn't like that for some stupid reason so you have to go in select double click so this is you're gonna notice that this happens a lot this is just like maintenance plans highlight the line click the button it's gonna process you're gonna see something pop up right here the information that you put up here you can now scroll over and see it's right there so we're gonna go back now you're gonna highlight the line again. This is where I say it's like multiple note. It's like your maintenance plans. Uh, you're 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 selecting all your stuff up top. You're highlighting the rows that you're affecting. You're changing it, and then you're highlighting the rows again. And you're gonna click clear and close. This is going to tickle your notification. If that notification stays open, you will have a deadline piece of equipment with a closed work order. The notification holds the fault. It holds the status code. So if you have a notification with an X on it, but your work order is closed, that piece of equipment is still technically deadlined in G Army. So now here's number three. But before you do this, before you click this button, change this to if it if if your unit completed it, it stays S. If the IMSA shop or ECS shop completed it, it goes to T. That means it was completed by another maintenance activity, not moi. If you fail to do this, you need to go up here, forward slash O, iWhiskey 42, or sorry, iWhiskey 32, not 42. 42 is no longer in existence. Uh, it's locked out to all of us. So you're gonna go iWhiskey32, and this is create change work orders. You're going to drop this work order number in there. 
you're gonna go up to the maintenance, you're gonna click it, it's gonna drop down, you're gonna click functions, you're gonna go over to complete, you're gonna go in there and it's gonna say cancel technical completion. Click that, then click save. Then close that and come back to this. Uh, you're probably gonna have to back out and then you'll have to go back into it. So time confirmation, 0.5, final confirmation, so one, five, and four. This is how quick and easy it can be. Hit save, it's good. Fault clearing should be here. You see it's technically cleared already. So we're gonna go in, add normal wear and tear. Uh, for this is a, this is an exhaust leak. So I'm gonna do repaired. I don't really think that anybody cares. Highlight, change cause activity codes. It's gonna change that one from, a, from an E to a C. And then if you hit this, clean and clear, now it says it can't, because it's already closed and completed. Now, if you go up here to Tango, enter, and it changes this, and then all you do is click this. Ta-da, and that's it. There's no save or nothing. Now if you hit back, and you hit refresh. It's going to go away. Ta-da! So that was done. Then I come down to my paperwork, and I sign it, and I set it off to the side, because that one is a completed work order. Now, we're going to go back. This one I've purposely kept, because, so now you know, that's how to use these saber. That's how you close out a, a normal work order when everything goes according to plan. Uh, sometimes the shop will not uh, consume goods to the work order um, and then you can either delete that line, go into the components and delete the line out of there or you can forward it back to them and then email them and say, hey, you need to consume this because it's out of your SLOC, um, whatever you want to do. So I picked this one because this is a trouble shot. So when we're looking at my work order here, this is the work order number, but you'll notice that there's nothing under the support work order. And the reason is, is because of the date. This was created before uh, March 2020 roughly so that means that support work orders were not a thing i think it, i think they some of them date back to like december but those are like pre-testing like the regulation came out and it says march 2020 now there's shop or support work orders so this is before that so we're gonna click orders same as always we're gonna go in here and we're gonna do complete work order so this is what I'm talking about. You're gonna notice that this all comes up. So what I recommend doing, so when you go, you notice that these, all these work centers, if you go to close out or put any time confirmation, because the, the AMSA shop or ECS shop puts their time in through iWhiskey 47 November or whatever. So that's, that's on them. This is specifically for you. You don't need any of this stuff. It doesn't matter to you because that's on their end for time confirmation for AMSA shop specifically. So what I do is I come up here. Just kidding. Let's close this out real quick. I come up here. I go to iWhiskey 32. I put in my work order number. I go to the components tab. Here, let's just... Well, I'll just I'll just show you. How about that? So I'm gonna say one zero zero seven six, and this is us. So this pops up, blah blah blah. It shows it's open. If you try and close it out of this, it's gonna bring Z Saber back up. Just PSA. You're stuck with Z Saber. 
So on the operations tab, if you come over here, what I recommend doing is make sure your work center or your UIC, my work centers aren't kosher, I don't think. Um, it's gotta have the S low behind it. But anyways, I digress. You're gonna put in whatever, close out, blah, blah, blah. I have it right here. And then just hit enter. And it's gonna populate all this data up here. So here's my close out right here. So I put in a one and I put in a one just cause it's faster. And that's it. And then you're gonna go back up here to the top and you're gonna save. All you're doing is adding a line for the operations tab. Close this. Now you're gonna come back over here. You're gonna click work order. We're gonna hit time confirmation. So I click here and you can click up here and then I can do this, uh, hold down shift and click the bottom right before yours. So this is my UIC. I hold that, you click the top, hold down shift, click the bottom and it'll highlight them all and then red line, delete. So this is my only one. You can't delete everything because it won't let you. It says it has to have something. So we do this, final confirmation. Make sure you check it, 371594. Highlight the line, hit save. Ta-da! If you try and do it prior to, or you try and put time confirmation into a UIC or a work center that is not yours and you do not have permissions or access over, you will not be able to. It will say that you don't have the authorization within that support activity because it's outside of your scope of operation for the position in which you are assigned. Once that time confirmation is done, we're gonna to go to fault clearing. I click over here, it pops up for me. So this is for a, uh, I mean, it's battery issue, but it's charging and whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. Yep. Highlight, highlight this, this, and it has been repaired. Highlight the line, change cause and activity code. You can see it's here. Ta -da! I've already technically completed and cleared this, but I'm gonna do it again, just because of the steps. It'll say a new entry is not possible because it's already completed. What? Let me go up here, we go to Tango. Because the Amster shop did this. Leave it as Sierra if your unit did it. Uh, it could also be a Zulu if it's canceled or do like cancel without completion. Then we're gonna technically complete. Ta-da! And you're done. I'm gonna sign my work order. Boom, boom, boom. And that's it. Oh, this. So that is Z Saber in a nutshell. If you have any questions, any comments, any concerns, we have Sergeant Green um, posted up a couple recordings in Microsoft Teams from a couple days ago. Um, if you are in the CMF 91 group on MS Teams for the Army, then you'll be able to get access to it. Otherwise, you need to contact one of us and we will help you out. Um, but he covers uh, like your forwarding, like you can highlight and forward a whole bunch of work orders back to the shops. Um, you can change your, you can force change your order progress. I do not recommend doing this. Do not, do not force change this and then try and go over here because then you're gonna get into something crazy where like you put a T in here and then you go to close it and it won't let you because it says T can't go to T. So this, it, this is end all be all. It, it, when you close out, it forces whatever system code is at the top onto the work order. If you've already changed it to T from here, it won't let you. So then you're gonna have to go back from T, you have to go back to like five and then go to uh, Foxtrot. So five is back into service. Foxtrot is uh, time confirmation or final, final confirmation completed and then go from Fox to like uniform and then leave it here and then come over here and change the last time to T. And then a rework is if they jack something up, you just forward it all back to them. 
Um, but he's got a big old deal that covers that. Um, and then I think this is the fun work order. It's having issues with the power box. And this is a little tidbit. If you guys needed Z Saber, you're done. If you've got an Atlas II, check this out. So this is the battery box behind. So like the driver would sit like right here and you're facing this way. This is the battery box that's on the outside of the vehicle. Uh, this is the NATO adapter to jump it. This is where you would drill a little hole and it's got a sweet little toggle switch. And this whole purpose is because the batteries drain out. Pretty sweet, yeah? Let me take a second, I'll freeze here. And it kind of gives you a description of like what's going on. And then we flip the page and look at this. You can, we, I have a battery shut off uh, on my Atlas. So it's on the outside of the vehicle, like the uh, all the other ones have, but it stops direct power. So uh, our ECS 15 came up with this because they're having issues with theirs as well. So yeah, uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about Z Saber, let me know. Um, or head up Sergeant Green. He's way more knowledgeable now. He's he's a, a he's become the master. <laughs> So, anyways, if you need anything, let me know. Noob out. Yeah.